Hi, it's Jesse at the Cade Museum for Creativity and Invention. We all brush our teeth every day, but have you ever wondered who invented toothpaste or how it's made? Have you ever wondered why it comes in a tube? Just stay tuned. I'm Patty, and I'm in the Creativity Lab, and today we're going to get very creative. We're going to make our own toothpaste. I'm going to show you how. And then I'm going to tell you how to get to our website to gather up your supplies and learn how to make your own toothpaste at home. Your teeth are going to feel fantastic, so let's get to it. We're going to make toothpaste. Actually, it's called tooth cream. It doesn't quite have a paste consistency you're going to need a tablespoon of coconut oil. It's the same stuff you cook with in the kitchen. You're also going to need a heaping teaspoon. And a heaping teaspoon means it's not level, it's just a little heaped up of baking soda. Put that in your cup. You're also going to need some flavoring. You want to use a sugar-free flavoring and I'm using spearmint, and I'm gonna put three drops in. The next thing I'm gonna add is stevia, or a synthetic sweetener like xylitol you can use. One eighth teaspoon. You're gonna need a spoon to stir, and you're gonna make it like a creamy consistency. Now the interesting thing is, if you had this in your house, it would come in a jar in the late 1800s, and it was called dentifrice cream. It didn't have a tube to squeeze it out of, and everybody in the house shared the same container and the same toothbrush. Toothbrush were not as common as they are now, and if your family had one, you all shared it with your siblings, your mom, your dad, whoever lived at your house and you would wet your toothbrush, dip it in the jar, brush your teeth, rinse it, put it back, the next person would come in. Now, we have toothpaste in a tube and we all have our own toothbrushes. And you can thank Dr. Sheffield, because Dr. Sheffield was a dentist in the late 1800s and he was looking for a more sanitary, hygienic way of dispensing tooth cream that he made and sold his patients. It was because he saw a tube of artist's paint that the artist would squeeze out of the tube. He had an idea. Take the tube, it was empty, no paint in it, put his dental cream in there, and there the invention was born. Easier way, you take the cap off, put it on your toothbrush, and the rest is history. <laughs> 